Greedy with the things of God. If God says he has something for me, I want all of it. If God says that what is written in this book is for me, I want all of it. Every single bit of it. Say it again. Say it. God has strengthened me with all of his glorious power. So we also pray that you will be strengthened with all of his glorious power. Watch this. So that you will have all of the endurance and all of the patience that you need. Because I can be going through hell and nobody ever know it. Why? Because I got faith, baby. I got faith. My faith does not respond to my situation. My situation responds to my faith. Glory to God. Glory to God. Let me say that one again. My faith does not respond to my situation. My situation responds to my faith. So whenever I get into a situation, the situation has to look at my faith and get a spirit of MC Hammer and say, whoop, can't touch this. Amen. All right. It, 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 it can't touch it. It can't touch it. All right. Because I, I, I have joy and I'm always thanking the Father. Why? Because I'm strengthened. In his glorious endurance. endurance. So he mentions this word endurance. Uh, but endurance always suggests resistance. Say that. Say endurance, endurance. Always, always suggests, suggests resistance. resistance. Uh, God would not tell us to do things if we're not going to experience the antithesis of it. If we're not going to experience the opposite of it. He tells us to endure. Why? Because we're going to face opposition and resistance. If that opposition is a sign of your effectiveness. So if there is no one that is getting angry at you, there's no one that's opposing you, uh, let me reach real deep and just say, you are not effective. It's like, why am I bouncing from place to place? Because God said, I'm forming you. Amen. The tests haven't come to destroy you, boy. They came to mature you. Yes, the Bible right. says to make you stronger, to make you perfect, mature. That's when you see the word perfect. When God instructs us to be perfect, he's talking about maturity here. Yeah. Uh, but then what says to complete you yeah. in a constant state of opposition. Yeah. The devil will never stop messing with you. No. All right? It is a sign that you are up to something good. God take me to another level. But God says this, I cannot enlarge the territory of somebody I don't know and you don't know. I cannot enlarge the territory and bless somebody that I don't know and you don't know. And remember that Opposition, it reveals the real you. It reveals your core, it reveals your seed. So God said, all right, God anoint me. God says, I don't know you. God take me to another level. I don't know you. Jesus didn't die to save your ideal self. He died to save your real self. You will not back down. You will not give up. There's a story of a team. There's an outreach ministry. They went to an all-female prison. And there was a one of the prisoners in there who kept on starting trouble in the prison. And these people came from outside to come in there. And they were ministering to people. They were speaking the scripture, uh, teaching the gospel. And this one demon kept on interrupting. Started mocking them. Teasing them. Would be such a distraction and a disruption. Some of the people were getting discouraged, but they kept on coming. They kept on serving. They kept on persevering. All of a sudden, the troublemaker stopped coming. And they experienced peace. Y'all ever have a troublemaker in your life and then all of a sudden they disappear yeah. from your life and then you experience sweet peace. Oh yeah. my God. Uh, but then one day, after three months of not being there, they came, she, she came back. You know, so they was like, uh-oh, here we go again. She came back and said this. She said, you know, I just want to come back and apologize. She said, because the very scriptures and the very thing that you, that I, I was mocking you with and I was teasing you about, God woke me up in my bed and started speaking to me about them. It had changed around my life. What is the point? That even in the midst of opposition, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't give up, 
the very person that is attacking you will be the one and can be the one that you win to the Lord. If he fails, at least fails while daring greatly. So that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who know neither victory or defeat. Which group are you in, ladies and gentlemen? Are you a part of the group that's being attacked? That you are facing the critics? Or are you the attacker? Are you the naysayer? What we're going to do, we're just going to make that decision today. And perhaps you are part of the, 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 uh, the demolition team. Those are the critics. Those are the naysayers. Those are the attackers. And I mean that it takes a real person. A real person, a person who's confident in their God and confident in the Christ that is on the inside of them to say, you know what? I've been doing wrong to some people. Yeah. Are you a part of the demolition crew? Or are you a part of uh, the building crew? Are you a part of the construction crew? Which one are you a part of? Take your, take your demolition hat off. Take that stuff off. Come over here with the construction crew. We're building the kingdom of God. And we're building people. I had a blessing from the Lord above. Gave him a beautiful woman to love. A place to live. Some land to farm. Two good legs and two good arms. The devil came sneaking around one night. Decided he would do a little evil to Ike. Figured he'd hit all Ike where it hurts. So he filled up all Ike's wells with dirt. Ike went out to get his morning drink, got a dip full of dirt, and his heart did sink. He knew it was the devil, so he said with a grin, God bless me once, he can do it again. So when the rains don't fall and the crops all fail, and the cow ain't putting any milk in the pail, don't sit around waiting for a check in the mail. Just pick up your shovel and dig another well. Pick up your shovel and dig another well. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what we have to do.